going to walk you guys through a bar flow today. It's going to be 30 minutes. All you need are a set of weights. I've got three pounds today and a mat. Okay? So let's go ahead and get you guys started. We're going to start at the back of your mat. Go ahead, take the feet about hip width apart. Feel all the toes really pressing down. Really feel grounded in this position. Okay, take a nice inhale. And as you exhale, curl the chin towards your chest and just roll yourself down. One vertebra at a time. Keep pulling your belly button in and up as you roll forward. Taking a couple seconds here, you can bend the knees softly, grab onto the elbows, just let yourself swing side to side. You can shake the head yes, shake it no. You wanna really just release through the neck and shoulders and upper back. Couple deep breaths. Last one, inhale. Then as you exhale, go ahead and roll yourself back up. Again, still feeling your feet on the ground, really feeling grounded as you roll back up. Let's do that one more time. This time, take the arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, curl the chin towards your chest. Roll yourself down. Really imagine one vertebra at a time rounding forward as you actively keep the belly button pulled in and up. Knees can bend softly, hands can touch the mat, and then go ahead from here, just go ahead and bend and stretch the legs. Warming up the backs of the legs now. A couple more here, let's go for three. And two. Last one. Good, go ahead, inhale. Exhale, roll back up. Here we go, final roll down. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, curl yourself back down. Let the weight of the arms and head really pull you forward. You feel a nice release through that upper back. Hands are gonna touch, and then this time you're gonna walk yourself out to your high plank position. So hands and toes, keep the feet wide to begin with. Shoulders should be right over the wrist. Lift the belly button to your spine and then pull your shoulders down your back. Get nice and strong in this position. We're gonna build some heat here, so we're just holding a high plank. Focus on the breath here. Let's go for four. And three. Two. And one, send the hips up, engage the core, press back to your down dog position. Taking a couple seconds here, pedaling out the feet, dropping one heel at a time, getting that nice stretch up the backs of the legs. And let's go ahead and press both heels towards the mat, shake the head yes, shake it no, and then go ahead and roll yourself forward back to your high plank. Holding it here, You've got four, three, two, back to your down dog. Two more just like that, rolling forward, hold, four, three, two, back to down dog. Here we go, last set, we're gonna add on. Roll it forward, find your high plank position. From here, left leg is gonna lift, we're gonna point the toe. Feel the length through the toe, I'm gonna curl it in, knee to nose. Send it out, little lift up. Curl it in, knee to nose. Send it out, little lift up. Three more, pull it in. And out, and lift. Let's go for two. In, out, and lift. Last one. Good, from here. I'm gonna go ahead, come down onto my knees. Left leg goes back again. I'm gonna lift it up and lower and lift and lower. So targeting that left glute and hamstring. See how straight you can make that leg. Really point the toe, extending it nice and long, trying to keep the hips square. Again, core is always pulled in, it's always engaged. A couple more here. Let's go for four and three, two, this one, we're gonna hold it up. Good, now from here, I'm gonna shift forward slightly. I'm gonna go into an assisted pull up, a push up. So press it down and up, tricep style. So I'm keeping the elbows close to the rib cage. Keep that left leg active. 
So it's really straight, all those muscles nice and engaged. Three more. Let's go for two. Last one. Nice job, guys. And then go ahead, press back to your plank. We're gonna combine those two movements. Find your high plank. Still staying with that left leg. Left leg lifts. I pull it in, press it out, lift it up. Left knee, I'm sorry, right knee lowers. One push up, press it up, pull it in, press it out, and lift, lower the knee. One push up, three more, just like that, guys. Keep breathing. This should be pretty challenging, okay? Working the whole body here, two more. Should start to feel it in that left glute, right in the booty. Here we go, last one. Nice job, guys. All right, go ahead, press back, find your child's pose. Get a nice stretch here. So really reach those fingertips forward, press those hips towards your heels. Imagine lengthening through your back, okay? So crown the head forward, tailbone reaches behind you. Breathe into the backs. Couple more here. I'm gonna flip around to the other side. We're gonna go right back into the second set using the right leg now. All right, so coming out of your child's pose, let's meet back in our down dog position. Pressing those heels towards the mat, lift those hips nice and high. Feel the stretch to the backs of the legs. And then let's go ahead and roll it forward, find your high plank. Okay, we're gonna go right into it. Right leg this time. So, right leg lifts. We pull it in, knee to nose. Send it out, little pulse up. So we pull it in and out and lift. Three more sets, guys. Keeping that core nice and tight. Staying strong through those arms. Last two. Last one. Nice job, guys. All right, from here, come down to your knees. Still using that right leg, extend it long. Lift and lower that leg. Going into some leg extensions here. Keeping that right hip square. Watch if that hip doesn't open up, right? You wanna keep both hip bones facing the mat. And then really stretch through that leg. So point the toe, see how straight you can make it. Focusing on that right glute and hamstring. Arms are nice and strong. My core is engaged the whole time. We've got four more. Let's go for three. Two. Last one. Hold it up there. I'm gonna walk my hands slightly forward, shifting forward, coming to our push-ups. Chaturanga style. Lower down, elbows close to the rib cage. Press right back up. Keep that leg active. So try not to let that leg fall, right? Squeeze the booty. Three more. Let's go for two. Here we go, last one. Nice job, guys. Come back to your plank. We're putting that whole set back together. Still working the right leg. Find your high plank. Here we go, right leg lifts. We pull it in and out and lift. Lower the knee. One push up. Back to your high plank. Four more. In and out and lift, one push up. Make sure we're breathing, guys. This is challenging. We've got two more sets, guys. Stay with it, you got it. Here we go, last one. Nice job, guys. All right, find your child's pose. Ooh, catch your breath here. Reach long through those arms, through those fingertips. Press those hips nice and heavy in towards your heels. And then breathe into the backs. All right, guys, nice job. Hopefully you guys are nice and warm, possibly sweating. I am. And let's move on. So, coming to the weights now, okay? We're gonna stay on your knees for this next section. So if you need to double up the mat or quick grab a pillow or some towels um, to pad the knees, you can go ahead and do that, okay? 
we're gonna get started right away with the weights. So I've got three pound weights, two pounds. Also, if you don't have weights, water bottles or like soup cans can also work as well, okay? Or you can do it without. So let's go ahead, starting on the knees. Take the knees a little further than hip width apart, okay? So you have a nice wide base, probably about shoulder width apart, okay? From here, I'm gonna make 90 degree angle with my arms. Engage the core, I'm gonna sit back, but I'm not gonna touch my heels, right? So I'm a couple inches off of my heels. Press the hips forward, squeeze the booty. So I sit back and I lift. Press back and lift. As you sit back, pull your belly button in and up. Almost like you're getting punched. You wanna almost feel like a contraction in your core. And then as you press those hips forward, really squeeze the glutes. Four more, three, two, last one. Hold it at the top, everyone's favorite, flipping it up and down. Got it, guys. Four more, make sure you're actively moving the arms and we're not swinging the arms, right? Do you guys see the difference? This is gonna do nothing for your muscles. Make it intentional, last one. Here we go. Another set, down and up, and down and up. Make sure you're breathing. Keep it super active, squeeze everything. Last three, two, last one. Hold it at the top, flip it up and down. Nice guys, try to keep the elbows in line with the shoulders the whole time. Look in that rotator cuff here. Last three, two, last one. We've got one more set, guys. Here we go. Down and up and down and up. Really squeeze the booty. Squeeze. Four more. Three, two, last one. Hold it. Last set. You got it. Breathe through it. Almost there, guys. Keep that core nice and tight. Four more. You should feel that in the shoulders. It should be on fire. Last two. Nice job, guys. Last one. Good. Really shake it out. All right, this time bring the knees about hip width. Okay, so a little bit closer. Now this time, I want you to imagine releasing the glutes, so don't squeeze the booty this time. Instead, Imagine your inner thighs pulling together, okay? Almost feel like you're trying to close the space between your knees, right? Like you're trying to pull your knees together without actually moving your knees. You're engaging through the inner thighs. Keep that engagement and then lift up through the pelvic floor. It's a different feeling than squeezing the glutes, okay? Try this way, okay? So relax the posterior, your booty. Engage the inner thighs and pelvic floor lifts. Keep that engagement the whole time. From here, arms reach overhead. Pull the shoulders down your back. Going into some lateral flexion, okay? So I'm gonna reach up and over to the side. Hold your side bend. Right arm meets it. Lift back to center. Left arm down, side bend to the other side. Reach and lift. You're gonna feel this in the obliques. Same thing, keep those inner thighs engaged the whole time. Nice little side bend, hold it to the side, lift it up. One more time, each side. Here we go, last one, guys. Beautiful, go ahead and release. Right foot's gonna step forward, okay? Coming to a lunge, tuck the left toes, okay? From here. Just gonna go into a bicep curl just to 90, okay? These are gonna feel simple because we've got light weights. That's okay. Really squeeze and hold it there. And squeeze. Four more. We're gonna add on to this, don't worry. Three, two, last one. Hold that 90 degree. Hold it here. Tuck the back toes. You're gonna lift the knee an inch off the mat. Hover, hold. Lift the elbows in line with the shoulder. Keep the shape of the arms. Stand it up, overhead press. Come back to your floating lunge. Lower the arms, lower the knees. 
bicep curl, hold. We float, lift it up, extend it up, pull it back down to your float, keep the shape of the arms there, lower the knee. This is an intense exercise, okay? Take your time. Notice the slower you go, the harder it is, right? Stay in that challenge. This should be hard. Challenge yourself, you guys got it. Let's go for one more set, okay? Here we go, last one. Just an inch, float the knee up, just an inch, get low. Hold, up, good, now from here, step it forward. Okay, take a nice big deep breath. Find your wide second position, okay? Now here, we're just gonna focus on the legs, okay? So we're just gonna keep the arms in front of the chest, okay? With the weights, just a couple pounds, you'll be fine. Toes are pointing out, we're working external rotation. Bend the knees, knees are in line with the toes. Check your alignment, and up. Nice big plie, and up, okay? This is different from a squat. I'm not sitting back, I'm not sticking the booty out. I'm keeping my hips underneath, keeping my pelvis in a neutral spine position, okay? Imagine lengthening through the crown of the head the whole time. Backs are nice and long. Good. Really drive through the heels on the way up. Adding on to this, we've got three more here. Two. Last one. Good. We're going to hold it down for three pulses. We lower down, pulse for three. Two, one, stand it up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, really squeeze the glutes on the way up. And your thighs are still engaged. As you lengthen the legs, imagine the inner thighs pulling inwards. Right, so they zip in and up. Last set of three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, last one, guys. Three, two, one, up. Wow, all right. Legs should be on fire, right? Should feel like jello. Release the arms and roll yourself down. Come on, back down onto your knees. All right, here we go. Take a nice big deep breath. Grab a sip of water. We're doing this whole thing all over again. We got it, okay? Left side. So start kneeling. Okay, this time we're gonna work the shoulders, okay? Have the palms face each other, arms are long. Okay, you're staying lifted on your knees the whole time. Just gonna do arm raise and lower. Lift it up and lower. So right in front of you, just to shoulder height, keep the palms facing down. See if you can stabilize the torso. So try not to shift the body back to lift the arms up, right? We're gonna add on to this three more. Two. Good, last one, hold it front. Right arm opens to the side, I rotate the chest. Come back to center, to the left. Rotate, my chest turns to the side, back to center, lower down. Three out to the side. For three, two, and one. Back to center, lift, hold. Open it up, rotate. Back to center, to the left, rotate and center, lower down, out to the side for three. Good, guys. Two, keep those shoulders pulling down your back the whole time. Good, back to front. We rotate. Take your time. You should feel this in the obliques as you twist, okay? So try not to use momentum, right? With the weights, it's easy to let the momentum take over. So be in control of the movement. Use your muscles. Two more sets, front. Now as you rotate, it should feel like a dish rag being wrung out, right? Like being twisted. You got it guys, out to the side for three. Gotta control the weights. Two, almost resist on the way down, past one. Good, here we go, last set. Lift it up, rotate. Open it up. You got it, guys. Last set out for three. Good. Two. Last one. Nice job, guys. 
Left leg steps forward, back to her lunge, okay? Tuck your right toes. Okay, here we go. Just come back to that bicep curl. Right, so just to 90 degrees, not all the way up, okay? And then really stop it, really squeeze when you get to 90, squeeze. So you wanna really feel that contraction in the bicep. Four more. You got it, guys. Three, two, last one. We hold it, we're adding on to this. Hold that shape. Float just an inch off the mat. Lift the arms, keep the shape. Stand it up, overhead press. Come back down to your float. Lower the arms, lower the knee. We bicep curl, hold, float. Lift the arms, hold, press it up, lower it down to your float. Lower the arms, lower the knee. Three more sets, guys. Breathe through this. This is really challenging, okay? Hopefully you guys are sweating, because I'm dripping. Guys, see how low you can stay in that float, right? The lower, the harder it is. Here we go, guys. Last set. Whoops, I messed that up. Float, lift, press it up. Good, now step it forward. Back to our plies, nice wide second position. We're gonna go right into the pulse, three pulses. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. Keep this going, now notice my back position. My back is flat, okay? Sometimes the tendency is to round your back, okay? You guys sit like that all day long at a computer. We don't wanna do that now, okay? Keep that back nice and long. Three pulses, three, two, one. Now, as you're doing this, every time you straighten the legs, imagine pulling your heels together. So like you're trying to zip it up, okay? You'll engage those inner thighs. So those legs are super active. Glutes are working, quads are working, hamstrings, inner thighs, adductors, everything is working here. Four more sets. Three more sets, you got it guys. Three, two, one. Here we go, last two. Three, two, one. Last one guys, three, two, one. Stand it up. Whew, okay. Go ahead. Heel toe the feet together. Or about hip width apart. Sorry, hip width. Roll yourself down. Keep the weight. Lightly bend the knees. Let your head release. Dangle side to side. That should feel good. A nice upper back release. And then go ahead. Come on down onto the mat, onto your bottoms. All right. We're going to finish up. Keep your weights close to you. We're gonna finish up with some abs and a little bit more glute work as well, okay? So we're gonna start in your seated position, okay? You're gonna take the weights, you're gonna hold them up and down. I'm gonna turn slightly so you guys can probably see me a little bit better here. All right, inner thighs are glued together, feet are together. I'm actively pressing into the weight, okay? You guys have seen this exercise before. You will know that it gets a lot harder more challenging when you're pressing down. You're adding the core here, okay? You're keeping that core contraction when you press into the weights, okay? So, slight little pelvic tilt, right? Come up to your toes, lift it up, now push down into the weights. Push, 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 hold. You should feel this everywhere. Got nothing here, toe tap. One at a time, take your time. Make it intentional, right? Make it neat, tap and lift, and tap, and lift. Keep pressing into those weights. You got it, guys. Shoulders down the back. Beautiful. Let's go for four. You got it. Three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, from here. Right hand has both of the weights, okay? From here. Come back to that seeker position. You're on your toes. Inner thighs glued together. Left hand is just off to the side, okay? It's gonna bend and straighten. From here, left leg lifts. I'm gonna go into a little rotation. Reach it down, press it up. So a little bit back and lift it up. Back 
You wanna to try to cross those weights over to the outside of that ankle. Down and up. Nice, guys. Four more. Three, two, and one. Switch sides. You don't need to do that many of these because these are pretty intense, okay? Same thing, hand is off to the side. You're gonna bend and straighten that elbow to assist you. Right leg lifts, cross it down, lift it up. A little bit back and lift. Try to get that rotation so those weights reach to the outside of your ankle. Almost there, guys. Four more. Three, you got it. Two, and one. Nice job. Okay, finish it up. Back to the toe tap, same thing. Press it down, tap it out, and tap, and tap. Core should be on fire, guys. Keep pushing into those weights. Breathe. Let's go for four, three, two, and one, and done. Okay. Done with that exercise, not done yet. Almost there. Okay, go ahead on your backs. Get nice and long. Just take a nice big stretch, okay? That last, last exercise we did, you tend to clench and you'll feel it in your hip flexors, right? So really just lengthen the body, breathe into the front body. A couple deep breaths here. All right, and then we're gonna go into a little bridge work and a little bit more ab work, okay? So stay on your backs, hands are down by your sides. Bring the feet flat on the floor. Good. And then from here, you're just going to go ahead. We're going to go into an articulated bridge. You're going to articulate the spine off the mat. So inhale, exhale, curl the tailbone, roll through imprint, squeeze the glutes as you peel the hips off the mat, lifting one vertebra at a time. Hold it here. Now, same thing we did on our knees. Imagine your inner thighs pulling together. Pull everything in towards your midline. Hold it. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, you're gonna melt the spine, starting with the upper back first. Roll through your spine, middle back, lower back, back to your regular position. Here we go. Try that one more time. Inhale, exhale, tilt the pelvis. You should feel that lower back pressing into the mat as you lift all the way up. Hold it here. Good. Getting nice and strong. Really press into your heels. Keep your ribs pull down towards your hips, right? Stay connected in your core, hold. Inhale, exhale, melt back down, upper back, middle back, lower back. Nice job, guys. All right, adding on. This time, you're just gonna lift, so just your bottom is off the mat. Tiny mid bridge, little mini bridge, okay? So go ahead, you're gonna tilt the pelvis and still roll. So you're in a pelvic tilt, but just my bottom, right? So I can just fit my hand underneath my body. Hold that, right leg is gonna lift. Good, now from here, I'm gonna to point to lower, flex to lift. Point to lower, flex to lift. Two more. Nice guys, last one. Beautiful, go ahead, release, roll it back down, roll it back up, so go into that pelvic tilt, so your hip bones are pulled up towards your ribs, stay connected here, lift the booty up an inch or two. All right, same thing, left leg, left leg lifts, good, point to lower, flex to lift, point to lower, now as you lift, imagine your post here, the back of your leg is lifting up, Take it out of the hip flexors so you don't lift here. Think back of the leg to lift. Two more. You got it, guys. Last one. Beautiful. And then go ahead and roll yourself back down. Nice job, guys. Hug your knees. Let's circle the knees out. Feel your lower back really imprint pressing into the mat. That should feel good. Let's take a nice little twist. So go ahead, bring the knees to one side, arms and head look to the other. Breathe into this, tw into this twist. 
Notice you'll get a deeper twist if you stack the knees. So usually when you twist, your knees shift slightly, right? Notice if you stack them, so you stack the hips, stack the knees, and then take your twist, you can get a lot deeper, okay? So if that's available to you, right, go ahead and try that. Big deep breaths. And then go ahead through center, take your time over to the other side. So same thing, so here you can probably see better. So usually when we take our twist, notice how my knees are not lined up, right? I think you guys can see that, okay? You can still get that twist, but if you stack the knees, my hips are stacked, right? And then you can really twist through your thoracic, which is through your rib cage, and you can get that nice, yummy twist. Side note, twist, are really good stress relievers, okay? It's a really good way to get rid of stress and tension, which I'm sure we are all carrying around now, right? So always welcome some twists into your daily practice or daily stretching. It's always so good for you guys. All right, here we go. Back to center. Hug your knees and then go ahead and roll yourself up to a seated position. All right. And then let's go ahead and find Let's take a butterfly position. So bring the bottoms of your feet together. Sitting tall, make sure you're right on those sits bones, right? Nice neutral spine, straight back. So watch it, you're not in that pelvic tuck into that tilt, right? You wanna stay lifted. Good, and then go ahead, reach your fingertips forward, right? And almost, you almost wanna feel like you're getting a little extension through your thoracic. So pull your shoulders down your back, and then try to pull your chest through your arms, and then slightly look up. Right? It's a very tiny little extension. Keep drawing the shoulder blades down your back. And then look up. Beautiful, guys. That should feel good. And then go ahead. Now you can round forward. Just take a nice forward release. You can shake the head. Whatever feels good here. Reach the arms forward. And then go ahead and roll yourself up. Beautiful, guys. Take a nice big inhale. Let's take a nice little side bend. So up and over. Keep pressing down into this hip, though. So don't let this hip pop up. You don't want it to shift your weight, right? You're not going to get that stretch that you want. You want to get that nice stretch up the side body. Good. And then from here, rotate your chest towards your knee. And then bring your hands down. Same thing here. Try to pull your chest forward. And then keep sitting into that left hip. Really nice stretch here. Good. Unwind, come back to your side bend. All the way through center, up and over to the other side. So you wanna feel like you're lifting up and then side bend, okay? So you get that stretch through the side body, but the left obliques are pulling in and up, right? So I'm not here. Do you guys see the difference between here and here, right? It's an active stretch. I'm working the muscles and I'm still stretching. Good, and then rotate the chest. Hands down, try to pull your chest through the fingertips. Shoulders down the back. Beautiful, and then come on back to your side bend. Come on back and up. Beautiful, guys. Bring the fingertips out to the side. Arms are long, pull the shoulders down. And then just drop, without letting the shoulder shift, just drop your ear towards your shoulder. You should feel really good stretch here. I imagine you guys are much like me, where I'm just like waking up with lots of aches, tight neck and shoulder and upper back, right? Again, it's all that stress and tension. So this is a really good stretch. Good, and then roll it through. Chin towards your chest, through center, over to the other way. Same thing, keep the arms reaching long, keep the shoulders down, just tilt the ear towards your shoulder. Good, back through center. Do a couple shoulder rolls back. Nice job, everyone. That was a really challenging workout today. So good job. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Two more inhale and exhale. Last one inhale. All right, guys. As always, thank you guys for joining me. Take care, and I will see you guys soon.